Hello friends and welcome to yet another exhilarating session of Wisdom Zone and this is Shubro and I'm quite sure you have already guessed it. Today I have another amazing session on useful puzzle work for your English conversation and today also I'm gonna give you 10 extremely useful phrasal verbs for your English conversation and all these phrasal verbs are quite new for you. So it is my earnest request to all the viewers, please watch this video carefully till the end and do not skip it at all. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait and immediately subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Three, two, so friends, welcome back once again to this amazing session on useful diesel verbs for English conversation and in today's video, as I have promised, I'm going to give you 10 extremely useful phrasal verbs and they are going to be imperative for your English conversation and I'm quite sure most of them are quite new for you. So before I go ahead, let me inform that I have provided some more links on phrasal verbs in the description. So if you want to learn more phrasal verbs and if you haven't checked those videos so do not forget to check the links given in the description so without further ado let's get started with today's 10 useful english phrasal verbs for english conversation so friends as you see the first one is fawn over let me tell you this phrasal verb is quite new i guess fawn over fawn over means to praise someone in an excessive way and give them a lot of attention to get their favor so that is called to fawn over that means you press someone unnecessarily in an excessive way and give them a lot of attention which they don't deserve just to get some favor that's called fawn over. So let me show you how to use it. As you see on your screen the example, Ben fawns over his boss in order to get a promotion. So that means he tries to praise his boss excessively without any reasons just to get a promotion and to get his attention so that he promotes him. So I'm quite sure it's clear how to use this useful phrasal verb up next we are going to see the second one that is fiddle around fiddle around is quite useful in our everyday english conversation so it means to waste time doing trivial things unimportant things or unsuccessful things so that's called fiddle around that means when you waste time do something unproductive trivial things without any intended results so that's called to fiddle around so let me show you how to use it as you see the example i fiddled around with the computer but could not fix it that means i wasted my time trying to fix the computer but ultimately i could not so i just wasted my time so up next we will see the third one that is get back at and we say i get back at someone that means to take revenge on someone so get back at someone means to take revenge on someone so simply remember the meaning is to take revenge on someone as you see the example let me show you how to use it i have vowed to get back at my neighbor for insulting me in public so that means i have taken an oath vow is to take an oath so i have vowed to get back at my neighbor for insulting me in public that means i have taken an oath to take a revenge i have decided to take a revenge on my neighbor because he insulted me in public I am quite sure it's crystal clear. Up next, we will see the fourth one that is fizzle out. Quite important and I am quite sure it is also new for you. Fizzle out means to gradually end or disappear, to vanish. So it is used in case of relationship also. As you see the example, Tom and Paul were best friends in college and their friendship fizzled out when they relocated to different cities for higher education. That means their friendship, in fact, ended and i think became weaker gradually end something a relationship is called to fizzle out so i'm quite sure it's clear up next we will turn our attention towards the fifth one that is dabble in dabble in is to be involved in something in a casual manner it's to dabble in so again let me repeat the meaning dabble in means to be involved in something in a casual manner and you are not very serious just for sake you get involved in something for some time not permanently. So let me show you how to use it. As you see the example, Sean dabbled in advertising before starting his own business. That means he was involved in advertising for a short period, advertising industry before 
starting his own company or own business so he was involved in advertising sector so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear that was for a short time so that's why this phrasal verb is used doubled in up next we will see the sixth useful phrasal verb for english conversation which is on your screen that is go against you must have heard of it before it means to lose a decision or verdict of a court that is to go against someone that means something goes against you that means you lose that decision or verdict so as you see the example the jury's decision went against the accused that means he lost that particular case perhaps and the decision was against the accused so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear so here went against means to go against someone when some decision doesn't go in favor of someone that is to go against so up next we are going to turn our attention towards the seventh and i'm quite sure it's quite new for you which you see on your screen that is conk out which i'm quite sure is quite new for you it means to suddenly stop working that's called conk out let me tell you it is used in informal context so just be cautious so you can use it in informal conversation conk out is to suddenly stop working as you see the example i was about to send the mail when my desk stop conked out that means my desk stops suddenly stopped when i was just about to send my mail up next we are going to see the eighth that is land in so land in is also quite essential to use in our conversation so it means to get someone into trouble is to land in so as you see the example she landed herself in serious trouble by taking unsanctioned leave so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear so that means she ended in serious trouble by taking unsanctioned leave that's why this phrasal verb is used she landed herself in that means she put herself in trouble by taking unsanctioned leave up next we are going to see the ninth useful phrasal verb for everyday english conversation which is bite back bite back is also quite useful let me tell you it means to do something bad to someone who has done something bad to you okay that means to retaliate you can say if someone has done something bad and you do something bad to that person is called to bite back so let me show you how to use it the opposition leader bit back at the prime minister by criticizing his new policies maybe the prime minister did say something wrong about the opposition leader and because of that the opposition leader bit back at the prime minister by criticizing his policies so i'm quite sure is clear so at last let's turn our attention towards the last one which you see on your screen so i hope you see the last one on your screen that is man up man up is used slightly informally and it is common in informal context so you can use it in informal conversation it means to behave with courage so when you ask someone to behave with courage or can say please man up so let me show you i hope you understood already so as you see the example he said man up and admit your mistakes that means he has to behave with courage and admit the mistakes the person has done so i'm quite sure it's crystal clear how to use this wonderful phrasal verb in your everyday english conversation so today i gave you 10 extremely useful phrasal verbs for english conversation try to use them try to incorporate them in your everyday english conversation these are all for spoken english and you can use some of them in writing also and these are going to help you to speak confidently and precisely and please go through the examples and comment below and again it is my request to all the viewers if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait and immediately subscribe to his dumb zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to his dumb zone